Welcome back to the show, everyone. Uh, well, she does beautiful art, and she's part of a beautiful program as well at Arts Umbrella. It's called Splash. It's a huge fundraiser for them every year, and a ton of fun to go to because it's a live art auction, so you get to bid against people and get See the art, uh, just like we are right now. We're joined uh, by Athena Bax. How are you, Athena? Hi, Athena. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. tired, but I'm good. <laughs> well, you had a big weekend. Uh, tell us, first of all, maybe about your association with Splash, because you've been part of this for uh, a few years now. Yes, yes. Um, I'm fortunate enough to be one of the 100 contributing artists to Splash. Um, they call you up. They get you working hard, and, and they're persistent, and they, <laughs> they just get from us what um, we have to contribute. Well, and it's we such do best. a great program because so, really, I mean, yeah. the money raised goes back in, into really inspiring yeah. children. Yeah, and that's where it all starts because, you know, I can only speak for myself, but you're born with a crayon in your hand and, <laughs> uh, you know, hopefully you have the right encouragement to grow up and live your dreams. And did you start painting, painting at a very young age? Yes, drawing and painting and as and soon as I could hold. And when did you move from the crayon yeah. to the paintbrush? Yeah, like when did you uh, become with, serious? Uh, with the next Christmas present, which is, you know, uh, uh, color the pencils. Easel, yeah, that's <laughs> right. The felts. Yeah, felts and, you know. And we're looking at so. some pictures of you working away right now uh, mm -hmm. in the studio and also at yeah. a great event that was happening at Holt yes. Renfrew. Yes. Uh, my dream is to, to, you know, just hang out there too but you got to do some of your work in Holtz what was the event like it was incredible and I was very open to it because when uh, Arts Umbrella approached me and said hey what do you think of painting live and I'm like <gasps> had you ever done that before no you, know, you, you no. spend you know 24 7 in your studio working to produce in isolation and then they're like how about paint live and I'm like near the shoe department no <laughs> so uh, it was a challenge and Holtz came over and we shot the studio and they replicated a beautiful little mock studio yeah. uh, right up on two in collections and um, were you near the shoes I was near the shoes Good yeah. Girl. yeah 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 now, just, so every now and then you take a break and you just trape through the shoes because you're usually yeah. solitary as an yes. artist painting did you did you find that you were rethinking things or did you just forget about everything where you were uh, I went in with a completely open mind because I saw the setup beforehand and I knew that there were going to be people behind me. So I just started working and just got quickly used to the disruption. And it, disruption is not a positive word, did, but this was very positive. Did people ask you questions and stuff? Or did Every they, two minutes. Really? So it was... If I saw an artist working, yeah. there's no way I'd talk to them. I'd be like... But no, it was great because you had... I, want, I didn't want to hear, is that a cat? <laughs> or, uh, or uh, what are you doing? <laughs> is no, that a no, cat? don't add red. You know, is I, that a cat would have yeah. been awesome. What did you yeah. paint? I was painting something very similar to this. To the so, one you've got next to you yes. in your studio. Tell us about that work first. Well, this is one of my, I, I call it Willow Branch, and it's one of my free-flowing kind of nature-inspired pieces. So the one at Holtz um, that I started painting live had this energy to it. So I could kind of redirect through disruption because right. when there's very technical paintings, um, like the portrait behind you, it would be hard to talk, potentially. And get back and to refocus. it. refocus, so. Uh, your yeah. use of light in that is, I mean, I don't know if you saw it on camera when they shot it, mm -hmm. but the way that yeah. the light emerges from it, oh. uh, is that technique, is that inspiration, is that? I can't answer that. You get into the zone and. Is it a cat? <laughs> is it a cat? <laughs> it's a really furry tail. Yeah. Um, the way I paint, there's no motive. There's an idea, and I'm like, okay, I think I'm going to do this, and I try. And I always say that painting, the canvas paints itself. It comes through. That doesn't it's happen a relationship. to me, Athena. The canvas does not paint itself when I pick up a paintbrush. But it's interesting because you would have to, I mean, as well as learning technique, yeah. right, as well as learning how to use the brush properly, all those things, you must have to go through a process of learning how to do that, how to create that environment for yourself. You do, and it's an extremely personal and evolving relationship with your canvas or your paper or your tools. It doesn't have a vocabulary. It doesn't have words. It's a conversation and a relationship that it is right in front of you and develops every two minutes, How every 30 seconds, every two seconds. <laughs> and when you and fight it... you just it, have to be open to that conversation. You, you do, because there's days where it's like, this is great, and it's like, we're really getting along yeah. right. and then and then I'll, I'll have a bad right. day and the bad day is because my intentions weren't what the painting's intentions were and I know I'm sounding like ooh let's no, burn some incense now it's fascinating to, tell us about, about, about this but piece it's here it's this one has attracted so much attention with yes. the birds and birds yeah, the are series. a theme for you tell yes. us about this one and uh, why birds the birds are a constant um, I thought they were going to be a smaller collection around 2007 but they 
keep getting requested. So um, when I find a commission coming to the studio, they're like, can I add a bird? Can I add a bird? <laughs> so little birds were a big part of my growing up. They were a very favorite um, thing of my mom's. Yeah. So um, the little birds just kind of started working themselves in. I, I always say I paint windows, especially in the, in the more natural and organic looking paintings. Yeah. Um, when I, I work with a client or working on a commission, we see them as windows. Mm -hmm. So no one's ever really worried about it matching their personal space or their interior. Yeah. It, it is it's a, a portal window. in their house. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, that's beautiful. I mean, Thank just you. as we're looking through them as well. You. And you've mentioned the technical uh, a couple of times, and we haven't actually got a shot of it yet. But I, I mean, what a juxtaposition in your work almost. And, mm -hmm. and are there days where you're drawn to sort of doing things a little more technically? And, yeah. and That's beautiful. Because you look yeah. at that. Wow, it's just amazing. You can't, um, you never know what's going to hit you. That, for me anyways. So I could be sitting there and at 11 o'clock at night I'll get up and you have to get rid of that right. uh, potential idea. It, it's the birthing and yeah. I call those parent pieces because <laughs> uh, collections can come from them yeah. or it can just be this one single piece you can't do again. Get it out of the way. Yeah. 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 What about so. when you do commission pieces? We have one of uh, a little dog named Seamus who happens to belong to uh, Bill Clinton. Bill Clinton. Yes. Uh, so. How does this oh, come about and, and how do you go about it when it's a commission piece rather than you being inspired by the canvas? Uh, depending on the commission, this, this one uh, a portrait of a, a pet or a human, that's, you gotta nail it. <laughs> so <laughs> right. the nerves go, Whoa, you know, and first of all, you're extremely flattered and in need of resuscitation when you hear you're being commissioned for a Bill Clinton portrait. No um, kidding. And it's like, okay, it's just a little bit more pressure. Uh, so, Do you get to talk to him about Seamus and his personality, no, or you just get a uh, picture and you got to get I, it? I've had the opportunity to meet him, but um, no, I didn't talk to him about Seamus because it was painted as a Christmas present for him. So I did <laughs> get response post, and it was very, very kind and very... That's so sweet. Yeah. Oh, that's but beautiful. getting his picture, I had specifically asked um, his staff for a portrait of the dog and sent, you know, yeah. appropriate guidelines. And it was fantastic because I think I received about 100 JPEGs over some... <laughs> weeks and someone was chasing the dog around with a camera. <laughs> it's like, no, I need a portrait. <laughs> One I was, of his staff members, so that's job We would love to know who week. got that job, the chasing dog, Seamus. <laughs> and the dog was like, you know, in every, like, like leave me alone. And I'm like, oh my God. And the last two photos was this one where he was like, okay, and he was sitting upright. He looks like he's listening. Like, yes. Let's get this over And then with. the dead last photo was absolutely the exact same structure, same positioning, but his face was like, I am going to rip you apart. <laughs> more One more photo <laughs> and, and I, if I had time I wanted to paint them both because it was such a transition from his beautiful face to your dead meat. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, but I didn't and we wanted to look it. at one more before we okay. go. Uh, the painting of the horse is absolutely oh. beautiful. Oh, okay. uh, tell us about the horse. Uh, I think you have Eva. There we go. Eva, I, I'm inspired probably three, four times a year to paint a horse. I, I love horses and, and I wish I Maybe in the future I'll have one, but uh, she's just, um, I call her my little angel and she's in the studio and there's two other horses and one is very strong and one is very old and wise and she seems to be peering through a window. A misty window. Yeah, yeah. I was going to say the window element. On a rainy time. day. On a rainy day or cloudy frost. I don't know what she's doing, but uh, I love her and I love her around. So when I, when I say I love her, and I feel like you I didn't that. paint her. Yeah. I feel like she's come through and... Yeah. Beautiful. So beautiful. Let's, beautiful. Athena, thank Thanks, you so Athena. much. You're Athena's welcome. work will be part of the annual Arts Umbrella Splash Gala. If you haven't been before, it is an absolutely That's amazing cool. night. It has a live art auction and is happening on October the 15th. And you can go to Athena's website uh, to find out more information about upcoming shows. Yeah, absolutely. And I should mention as well, uh, with the Arts Umbrella, with the Splash event, there are still tickets available. So if you're looking to go, you still have an opportunity. Athena, thank you so you're much. You're very thank welcome. You. That was a pleasure. Very nice. We're going to take a break.